I think for, for starters, issues relating to trade and investment are important to us. Uh, uh, connectivity issues in terms of movement of people to people are important to us. Uh, 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 the work that has come of APEC has allowed uh, important investors to come on shore and be part of our business community. That's important and, and that you really need to think in terms of what sort of structural reform work we've been doing in the past and ease of doing business uh, activities that have made it possible for for new investments to come on shore. Those are pegged on important uh, APEC principles and that, that's important to us. Uh, um, when we, uh, when we um, started to work on our policy uh, focus for 2018, um, it became very clear that we needed to deal with growth as an important issue and we need to continue to carry the, the issues uh, and, uh, and the work on connectivity um, and so um, the policy formulations therein uh, in terms of harnessing impl uh, inclusive opportunities and embracing the, the digital future is, um, is premised upon the principle that we hope to have our discussions complement some of the work that our own government is doing with respect to focusing on on uh, education, focusing on, on uh, infrastructure development uh, and focusing on uh, health, uh, health uh, delivery, health services delivery and bringing a policy focus that allows um, us to be able to capitalize on infrastructure development, to capitalize on an educated population and to capitalize on a healthy population. That's give us enormous scope for, for perhaps a more uh, accelerated development in, in, in our economy. If you take digital, for instance, that, that's an important connectivity matter for us. We, we are a country that is challenged in terms of uh, uh, infrastructure, Port Mosby is a city that is not connected to most of the most of the country. Uh, so um, bringing a spotlight on digital gives the, the connection that we need, whether it's in education, whether it's in social media, obviously, but also in financial inclusion, where um, our financial sectors, for instance, are carrying quite a large uh, body of work in terms of making financial services more inclusive uh, and, uh, and is able to reach remote uh, areas, for instance, um, in education. Um, uh, just ensuring that connectivity uh, um, is able to drive the different innovations that uh, makes um, education more accessible, certainly the resources that come off the uh, internet to, to our schools and, and colleges. One of uh, the important things that we hope we'll bring into, into the work stream as an important uh, part of demonstrating the opportunities would be in terms of the opportunities in the handicraft sector for Papua New Guinea. We, uh, uh, we have a project that hopefully we'll bring into mainstream discussions this year, but a project that, that could potentially um, uh, deliver to handicraft producers and traders uh, important um, internet platforms that allow them to trade their, uh, their handicrafts directly from, from, from the rural areas to the, di the different markets that, that, that could come onto uh, a, a potential internet platform.